Ahoy VR Pirates! Welcome back to the Sail VR Early Access Devlog. My name is Garrett, I am the developer and creator of Sail, the open world VR pirate game, and this is the Devlog, where I give you all the latest and greatest news and development progresses that you need to know about for Sail VR and everything that's going on behind the scenes. It has been a while since we've done this one, guys, so I have a lot of news to update you guys on. So my plan for this Devlog is to give you guys all the news that I think you guys need to know about, talk a little bit about my roadmap going forward, and a couple of questions that come along with that. That's gonna be the devlog, let's jump straight into it. News, we've got lots of news guys, lots of things to talk about. So if you didn't know, one, we got a proof wrap lab. Been that long since I've made a devlog, sorry guys. Uh, we got a proof wrap lab and we released on App Lab. The sale early access guys is now available for you to buy. And as I am making this devlog guys, we have just passed 1000 downloads. Guys, that is absolutely insane to me that a thousand of you have been willing to buy this game. Thank you so, so much to everyone who's purchased the game. So we've just passed a thousand downloads, guys, and that is absolutely insane to me, but I'm trying to hit 5,000 downloads by the end of the year because 5,000 downloads would be just enough to keep this little company rolling for a whole nother year. That's kind of my goal, guys, and I will talk a little bit more about that when I get to my roadmap part of this video, but for now, just thank you so much to the 1,000 of you who have purchased Sale the Early Access, you guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so, so much. Other kind of cool and me just kind of freaking out news is we had a couple of big YouTubers play sale and post about it on YouTube. It's kind of been crazy. One of my favorites was Happy 147 He's been one of my favorite YouTubers for a while now and he was so kind to both play and stream sale on his channel. It was super fun watching that, guys. We've had a couple of other really big YouTubers play the game and talk about it and that was honestly like to those YouTubers, thank you guys so much. That was really cool of you. And if you haven't seen the videos, guys, I've left links to them down in the description below. Definitely go check them out. They're really cool videos, guys. And just like Thank them for making a video about that. It's really helped us on our end, but that's really cool. Just want to make you guys aware of that. Now on to some more cell development progress and stuff like that related news. Oh, something really, really cool happened. A little company called B Haptics sent me one of these. B Haptics sent me their whole kit of haptics and they would like me to add those haptics to sale. That is something I'm definitely gonna look into. I've been messing around with the suit and it is absolutely incredible, guys. So huge thanks to B Haptics for sending me this stuff. I am 100% planning on putting in this haptic feedback into sale, but obviously there's a lot of things that I gotta cover first. Talk a little bit more about that in the roadmap, but just know that eventually I am planning on putting B Haptic feedback into sale. So again, thank you so much B Haptics for sending this to me. I'm really excited to put this into the game. I feel like it's gonna add a whole nother level of immersion, but I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. And just thank me Haptics for sending me this awesome feedback vest, arm things, and the facial interface as well. That's what they sent me. That's what I'm planning on using for haptic feedback. Just want to make you guys aware. So another kind of cool thing that's been going on is I've actually been in talks with Pico Neo to try to get sale onto their platform. They want me to put sale onto their official store. Um, I did make a video about unboxing this a little while back, but I've been playing around with this device, guys, and it is actually insane like i really like this device and i'm really excited for the things that pico new has planned they've been letting me know kind of the things that they've been doing that they're trying to do to compete in the vr space and i'm actually really excited about it definitely thinking about putting a port over to that there's just some talks going on behind the scenes with me and pico neo so something to keep aware of really excited to work with this company they've been really really cool and super generous to me and i think sale would be a really good fit for their platform so that's another kind of news thing that you guys need to vote about i'm planning on putting sale one of the pico neo stores soon as well but again, I will talk about that in the roadmap section. <laughs> a lot to talk about in the roadmap section. And let's move on to the next part of things, which is the roadmap. So now that the early access is out, I am kind of trying to figure out like what's gonna happen next. So the way that I'm kind of thinking about doing it right now, and I'd love to hear you guys' feedback on it. So if you have any like ideas and suggestions, or if this sounds pretty good to you, just leave it down in the comments below. I'd love to hear that. Basically what I'm thinking about doing is I'm trying to hit that 5,000 download count before the end of the year, right? So as I'm making this video, it is August and I'm trying to hit 5,000 downloads before we get to 2023, right? Got pretty much a whole nother quarter of the year to be able to hit that goal. And seeing as we passed a thousand downloads with only being a week into release, 
I'm pretty confident we can hit that and maybe even hit some of our higher goals to be able to hire on more people and keep this ball rolling even faster. Right now, I have been just absolutely going crazy trying to fix bugs and make the game like as stable and great as possible, right? So I've been fixing bugs. I've been trying to add quality assurance type things and just quality of life things. Like just today in the Discord, I was talking about all of the features I need to add to the settings menu to make the game more playable for you guys. Stuff like that is coming, guys. That's kind of my plan for the next couple of months is just to polish the game as much as possible. And I'm hoping that by the time the holidays roll around, Sale is just in an absolutely excellent place for all the new people who are gonna be getting their Quest 2s and Quest 1s this holiday season, right? For the next like couple months, that's kind of my plan is to just polish, polish, polish and test a bunch of different things, probably rearrange gameplay a little bit to be more in line with what I'm envisioning for both multiplayer and long-term goals of sales. So there'll be a little bit of rearranging, mostly polish. Some of the things that I'm definitely gonna, you know, try to address is making combat feel better, adding, you know, hopefully a little bit of like physics to combat and whatnot. We'll see. I'm definitely gonna have to experiment with lots of these things. But yeah, improving combat, improving things like, you know, when you shoot down a ship, I want it to have like some kind of sinking animation instead of just poofing into oblivion, right? Just these kinds of little improvements to make it so that this game is just 100% ready for the holidays. That's gonna secure the next year of development, which I'm planning on dedicating 100% to multiplayer. Work till the end of this year, polishing the game, getting it single player into the best state it could possibly be in, leaving that on the store while I go and start making and testing multiplayer. And depending on how many downloads we get between now and the end of the year, we'll kind of determine how fast we're able to get multiplayer out next year. Just know that I'm working hard to polish bugs and polish anything. And if there are bugs and stuff that I don't know about, please, you can hit me up on, down in the comments below. Also on the Discord, I have a whole forum for reporting bugs. I'm trying to make the game as best as I can, and it really helps when you guys are giving me tons of feedback. With the polish and stuff, I'm also gonna be doing ports to other platforms. Right now, we're just on App Lab and Steam, but I'm planning on getting it over to the Pico Neo as well. And also, I'm potentially thinking about bringing it to the Oculus Rift. Because some people were telling me that it actually might run better PC-wise if I port it directly to the Rift platform. So I might put it on Oculus' store that way as well. We'll see. Still up in the air about that. But that is another thing that I'm going to be doing as I'm doing all the polish and gameplay improvements and stuff like that. So yeah, that's kind of the roadmap going forward, guys. Very high overview. I don't have many specifics other than I'm trying to get the game to be in a really good state for the holidays, this holiday season. And then after that, as soon as I've got the 5,000 downloads or more, I'm planning on just hitting the ground running with multiplayer development. If you guys want to check out it out and check out the early access, it's down in the description below. Every purchase is literally going into funding multiplayer development. So that's what you guys have to look forward to. I know everyone wants it and we're going to give it to you. So we're going to make that happen. If you have any specific questions about, you know, specific features and stuff that I'm going to try to address, I'd love to hear them down in the comments below. If you have any gameplay that you'd like me to address or try to polish and stuff, I would love to know which ones you'd want me to look at. That is all for me guys thank you so much for all your support and the thousand downloads and everything is just blowing my mind you guys are awesome if you're not subscribed to the channel definitely subscribe if you want to keep getting updates about the game and all the things that are going on with it so and like the video if you had a good time but other than that guys that is all for me thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one have a good one